And let's go to this, Valentine's Day coming up. So tonight we're talking about something that affects literally every couple, and that's money. Whether you're married or maybe you're just dating, there are four things that you need to ask your mate at some point, and here they are. Happy Valentine's from the County Assessor's Office. Love is literally in the air, Cupid on the wall, and Emily Pleasant's engagement ring on the counter. She and Damien are getting hitched. How excited are you guys to be getting married? <laughs> pretty excited. Yes, very. very excited. These active duty sailors are on the same page when it comes to money. We have a savings plan that we go by, and every month we save a little bit of money. That's a good thing, says professional matchmaker Megan Buchan. I found that like the number one thing that, that couples fought about was money. Kind of like these dogs are doing during our interview. <laughs> She says couples need to ask who's going to be the breadwinner or do they want their partner to continue working in the relationship? Are they going to support their partner or do they want somebody who's self-sufficient? Did you guys talk about these things before you got married? It's been so long I can't remember. <laughs> but Terry Campbell and Robert Forshaw are both savers. So are Richard Polito and Ruthie Kliegerman joining hands and joining forces to strategize on big purchases. Money doesn't get in the way if I think another reason is is being responsible. One financial expert on about.com also recommends that couples designate a bill payer. Is that you? It, unfortunately, it is. And but. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can see why. But it puts somebody in control of it that knows how much you have left, what's being taken care of. You are now husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Love, marriage, and saving money till death do you part. Thank you. Thank you. Now, another piece of advice we saw online from two different financial planners was this. Even if you're married, you should have at least one credit card in just your name because you need to build up and keep up your own credit history in case you divorce or, or sadly, if somebody dies.